Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So let's do another tutorial today. And since it's the month of May, we're just gonna do all these awesome tutorials with Ariel, seeing as she's the most famous mermaid out there in the world. Um, is there another famous mermaid you guys want to learn how to draw? Then leave in the comments down below. But Let's go ahead and draw this one image of Ariel and Flounder. You probably have all seen it. It's this one right here. I'm going to teach you how to draw this image today because it's one of my favorites. It's really cute and it's a lot of fun because it's Ariel and her best friend. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're actually gonna do first is we're gonna lay out where each of them are gonna go. So let's go ahead. This is a profile view of Ariel. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the her head turned this way but since it's a profile view make an eye line right here and we're just gonna leave it like that for right now and what I'd like to do is go ahead and give her her neck and her chest is gonna go outwards okay we're gonna stop right there for right now now let's go ahead and place flounder's face and it's actually, we're gonna draw lightly through Ariel's head. So it's gonna go down. And then it's gonna go up. Cause Flounder's nose looks like this. And then we're gonna actually curve it back. So honestly, this is like as big as we want Flounder's whole entire body to be. And then we're, this is just an image from her shoulders, like her midriff and up to her shoulders and the rest of her face. We don't get to see her tail in this picture, so let's go ahead and start filling in the details. Okay, so let's start with Ariel's face first. We can go ahead and get rid of Flounder's forehead since it will be hiding behind mostly Ariel's bangs. The thing I like to do with profile views, if you guys have watched my tutorial on how to draw profile views, is I like to go ahead and draw the nose by making a circle, make that nose ridge. Their noses are touching, that's what's so cute about this picture, so we wanna make sure that Ariel has a good enough nose and Flounder has a nose good separate lines that way we can see that their nose are touching and it's super cute we also have to give flounder an eye line so i'm going to give flounder an eye line right here i'm going to lower this eye line just a little bit right here i'm going to lower it right above her nose make the eye look like a spotlight and we're going to jump over here do the exact same thing around his eye a little bit more. We're gonna keep a line going up this way. Then what I'd like to do is go and just go ahead underneath her nose, bring out one lip, go in, curve it upward just a little bit and then come underneath it. Go underneath it, bring out her chin, and then it's gonna go right in back into her overall shape of the head. So we wanna just make sure that the eyes are even because they're eye to eye, nose to nose. So we have two separate lines going on with the noses. So we have to make sure we have those two separate lines going. So we have Ariel's nose and we have Flounder's nose. One eye, we're gonna go ahead and make her pupil iris area all the way to the side and we're going to give Flounder his. It's really small, he just has a pupil, that's about it. So you can go ahead and fill this in, give a little shine to his eye. And then for Ariel, she has her big blue iris, and then a little shine right here, and then she has her pupil, go ahead and fill that in. And then I'm gonna jump down below and give her her nostril. So we just give her a little dot here and then the, no the nostril here. I'm gonna make this line a little darker and she has a thick eyelash line, not a bottom eyelash line, just a really thick top one. We're gonna go ahead and give her a couple of different separate eyelashes. And then she has red lips. So we're gonna go down, curve upward, and we're gonna go back down into the bottom lip. Get rid of a little bit of that point area. I'm gonna lightly cut 
color that in for now. All right, so let's focus on Flounder's face to get his profile right. So we're gonna go from his nose and you're gonna go in right about here. Going to curve around his cheek and you're gonna give him that bottom lip here. It's gonna go out and then make it skinny at the point and then back into his body. So he has a really round belly. We're gonna just bring up his tail. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump back here, give him more of a back fin, pound it off, go back in, and then you're gonna go right here, cross from his cheek, and you're gonna make this weird looking L, and then you're gonna bring down this fin right here. Bring down this fin, and then you're gonna jump on this side, bring out this part, and then bring out this part. After this, after you do this part, what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump up here, a little bit of space from this fin to this one, and it's gonna go up, and then you're gonna curve it down. And we'll eventually draw these separate looking fins up here, because they look like pieces of hair, but they're still a part of a fish's fin, but they're kind of like behind Ariel's hair. So I'm gonna go up and make this part, this part, and then this part. And then Ariel's hair will be coming underneath here. And we're gonna make one stripe here. And once again, her hair is going to overlap his face. We're just filling it in the bits and pieces of Flounder's face. So we have one stripe here, one stripe here, and then one stripe here. Make it nice and make it thick. And then one stripe right here in the middle of these two fins. So we're gonna give him stripes on his fin up here. So one, two, three, four. And then we give him stripes on his tail. One, two, three, four. Make sure that's like that. And then these are stripes as well. And I will go ahead and color in flounder in a bit to show you. He does have a pattern of light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark blue. His stripes are dark blue. But let's go ahead and finish Ariel first. Let's go ahead and just draw her hair for right now. So her bangs are going to go out and in, back to her face. So we can actually go ahead and erase all of the stuff we just drew right there. <laughs> so after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and start breaking up her bangs into sections. So we have one bang right here. We have one bang going into his eye another piece of a bang here and then another piece right here so it's everywhere her bangs are everywhere but it's typical because it's Ariel she has a lot of bangs and we're underwater so essentially we need this into sections here divide this down right there I'm gonna go ahead and erase some of these guidelines and then I'm gonna go underneath here and bring back another section of her hair and then this section that goes in front of her ear. So after that, we can go ahead and give her the bottom of her ear because the rest of it is covering up. And then we have another section going down and then another section. And another section. And then we have her shoulders over here but up here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop off that top of that fin. See, we're chopping off everything because now we gotta put Ariel's hair in the right place. So we're gonna go up, bring this down, make sure this flows in just a little bit more.
bring this part down and then bring out her hair to go this way. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump right here and make her shoulder and then her shoulder is gonna curve inwards. I'm gonna jump over here, curve this upper part of her shoulder as well. And then right here where her hair is, we're gonna draw one part of her seashell bra. It's gonna go all the way to her shoulder. I'm gonna draw one. And then on the other side, we're gonna draw two. And this part's going to round upwards. And then we're gonna bring out her midriff area a little bit more. Then we can go ahead and finish the rest of her hair by going down. I'm out of room. <laughs> This part will be going more into the section of her hair over her shoulder. So this is all of her hair going into sections and it's line, it's covering up most of her neck that we drew. Now for her seashell bra, we go one section, two section, three, Four underneath. So one section here. I'm just gonna clean up here just a bit, just so we know that, that this is the definite line to the top of Ariel's hair. And you wanna make sure we have these two spots right here so it looks like her hair is being thrown around like they just met eyes. And then we can kind of go ahead and give Flounder his little spiky hair, like it's going up over her head. These stripes on his actual belly, his body, are actually dark blue. Dark blue. And then I'm just going to color in the ones that are dark blue. So it goes dark blue, light blue, dark blue, light blue. down the middle and then these are light blue dark blue here and dark blue right here And I'm gonna go ahead and lightly shade in all of Ariel's hair so we know what's hair and what's skin. And there we go. There's how to draw Ariel and Flounder. I don't know if this image is from the movie originally or if it's fan made. I think I've seen one part of The Little Mermaid when her and Flounder get nose to nose and they just kind of look at each other. I don't know what they're talking about or whatever is whatever's going on, but I think this image is absolutely adorable. And if you guys love The Little Mermaid, you should go ahead and give this a try. Or give this to your best friend for mermaid, just for fun. But yes guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave in the comments down below if you have any other mermaids you would like to learn how to draw. Or if there's another pose of Ariel you would like to draw. I think it would be fun to draw Ariel and Ariel Eric together. I think that would be super cute. But yes, guys, I hope you have a most wonderful day. 